Good morning, Indie Game Fanatics, and welcome to another Let's Play series. Uh, this time we are checking out Artful Escape. This one came recommended to me on Twitter. If you'd like to recommend a game for me to check out on this channel, you can reach me on my Twitter or on my Discord down in the description below. And let's get started here. Oh, shrink me down on the music. Let's get into this. Turn the music volume down, though, some. Pretty loud. The thing this game did mention is that it is best with a gamepad. My gamepad's all dirty. Strum a folk ballad about the toil of a miner's life hold shift. So I'm gonna use controller. X. Play a folk anthem about the green acreage of Calypso, Colorado. Hold X. Shred a sci fi guitar odyssey. Hold. That's just how good I am. Your look doesn't match your sound. That's rude. Excuse me? You dress like a drifter, but you sound like a space opera. Complete tonal disconnect. Gives me anxiety. Oh, sorry. That, that was... So you give me anxiety. I'm, I'm usually much more serious. I play folk music. You look like you do. I mean, I'm trying to write for this show. My first show. Uh-huh. But after a while, it feels like I'm strumming backwards and my mind wanders away. Where to? We got Mid Nebula suspended in a sunbeam unfathomable depths of space and planets without names. It's suspended in a sunbeam. Nebula. Suspended in a sunbeam. You seem a little lost, kid. Which is good. I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. Wouldn't you agree? The danger diabolic. Uh, I wasn't listening. Not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Excellent. 
I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. I'm going to commit a crime. Okay, I'll do it. I knew you would. Dope. <laughs> Alright, first thought, this game is gorgeous. How do I can... It's like it's just a 2D... ...view. The summit. Kids come here to hang out. At least, they used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso. Former skills I gotta get the rust off of. Where am I supposed to go from here? Ah. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. come from Johnson Vendetti's nephew Francis Vendetti after party after party for your show Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches the skiffle band is playing I'll give them a chance they really love skiffle good for them they're quite forceful with their opinions of on skiffle. I'll give him a chance. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Is this your stuff? Of course not. Oh. Stop! No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Play the stuff from the lookout. Oh, no. Seriously? That's nonsense. Hey! When it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. Play. No, not that one. Play again. <laughs> That's worse than the first one. Rude. Bonanza. That's it. That's it. What? What are you taking? Nothing. Valves. Valves. Later. Oh. Wait. Hey. Is this Rami stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah. So. He killed a man in Boulder. Everyone says so. 
punched him in the neck. I know. I'm Francis. Francis Vendetti. I know who you are, kid. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. I never signed off on the flyers. You ever made it to the top? Been too scared to try. Whoa, it's beautiful. Yeah, you could really kill yourself from up here. You shred pretty well for a folk singer. Thanks. So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am, where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? So the one criticism I have so far in the game, about 12 minutes in now, is that for each line of dialogue, you have to press a button to go to the next line every single time. It's good for allowing you to kind of set the pacing, depending on how quickly you read or comprehend listening. The problem I have is the click every time I press a button for the next line of dialogue. Super annoying. Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Hey, will I see you around town? You know Lightman's in Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Someone else... Entirely. If Rami finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen, well, I'd rather not think about it. I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole... Aaron, miss. Hey, son. Yeah, what? It is. It's a place tied in the back of your mind. It's a soft, just like a number when she touches the sky. And you've got no way. And you don't know just why. Very strong. Recognize that name. Hard to miss now, buddy. Okay, so that's just that his uncle's dead. Artemis, stop. I see you want to play fat. Right now, buddy. Hey, back in town. Look at cat. Francis, you little bastard. Come to me, my love. Goldie, you lose it? Oh, perhaps a bit. I have a ticket to your recital. It's got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. 
I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. Oh, Goldie, I don't think... You look like him, you know. I know, Goldie. I really do. I think this place used to be a watchmaker. Undeniably haunted. Possible hub of underage drinking. Ah, yeah! Man of the hour! Hey, Tao. Yo, I've never seen so many people in town. Yeah, it's horrible. You listen to that record? Yeah. I kind of loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? You ever heard of Lightman's? Hmm? Junk sci-fi movie. It, it's not a movie, it's a place. <laughs> it ain't in this dead end. I'll catch you later, Tao. Calypso is usually much quieter. Gets quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. The finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. That's me. You avoiding me, son? No, Rami, no. I find you very intimidating. What am I doing, Francis? You... I have no idea. I'm smiling. That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. My face is friggin' Hurting, I'm smiling so much when I say you will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Or you will misplace teeth. That's well then, rude. I suppose we have an accord. And make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? I don't like that guy. I think a why. Maps of imaginary countries. All right, what are we looking at here? Pretty sure that's supposed to be uh, Europe, North Africa, but not like modern time one. I'm not sure about the rest of the maps. Cafe cliche. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. Sorry about that. A terribly runny nose this morning. Oh. Next level. This is a cool way to transition the map. To, like, travel it. You go either side, too. And... It's pretty cool. What have you come as? Zombie Vendetti. That is in poor taste. Yeah, it is. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Nephew. Sure, whatever. I saw the flyers free show, man. Probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid, but... Artemis? No chance. 
Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Once in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. <laughs> nice. Nice burn. Burn there. Cassandra, you're leaving? What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Cassandra, I'm devastated. Yours is the only shop I bother to steal from. Lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi. Ooh. Morbid psychedelia. A scientist poisons himself with town's his town's water supply would to appear them as an alien being. Wings of Orion. A king disguised himself as a piece of overcast sky. Or Velochrome. Using an illegal avatar, a mutant rises through the aristocracy of a cyber city. Yes, we're doing that. Whoa. Well, aren't you gonna thank me? I'm sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. Well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. Hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman? Francis, I don't think you want to be... <clears throat> Actually, no. Never mind. I've never heard of it. Now run along. Go practice. Well, so she knows Lightman's. She just doesn't want to tell me about it. shame this place is apparently dying down because it's beautiful. Um, hello? Francis Vendetti. The pleasure's all mine. Mayor Swartz here. How did you know? I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibrations. It's weird. <laughs> Ready for the big show? Uh, it, yeah, just rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent, really. The town's counting on you, son. What with businesses closing up, low voter morale, mayoral corruption. Haven't you been the mayor for like 12 years? And a series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. <laughs> you can put them right out of your head. Unexplainable events? I shouldn't speak about it over the phone all i'm saying is this your show's important vendetti there's a lot of folks out there counting on you wow don't cock it up i think they're putting a lot of pressure on this kid what are these two doing i never recognize anyone who eats here probably a hub for time travelers Good assumption. Artemis. What do you think you're doing? Come on. Come on. Okay. Top floor. I think? Or is it not? Through the looking glass. Hey, Lucy. Okay. <sighs> I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. I've got a copy, Lucy. The folk masterpiece. The voice of an American generation, or whatever. 12 million copies sold. Okay, yeah. Lucy. You got any records by people pretending to be someone else? I mean, sure. You got Captain Beefheart, legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Luke the Drifter. Hank Williams, really? 
Why would he do that? <laughs> to say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. Epiphany. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? Mm, no. You want me to check out back? Nah, got a feeling you won't find it. You coming to the show? I'll go to the show. I'm not going to the after party. You don't like the skiffle? They're like Jimmy Page started in skiffle. Yeah, everyone loves Jimmy for his skiffle. Exactly. Thanks, Lucy. <laughs> My place, childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. It's a shrine and a tomb. Honey, how was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? Uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Buckaroo? Huh? You don't seem yourself. Don't seem myself? <laughs> I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. Okay. Will you be down for dinner? We're having enchiladas. The boy you loved may already be gone. That was a weird way to say that. That's my dad and my uncle. They were really close, Mom says, from the beginning until the end. No one asks me about my dad much. That's so cool. You know, for good measure. Oh, that's a cool room. Would people believe an alien could play music? Could the radio intercept intergalactic transmissions? Could I step on stage, not as myself, but as someone else entirely? away from the infinite on the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension the universe in all its grandeur its wonder and desolation waits mere miles away the stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet The lights all going out. Okay. It's an alien.
That's a bit spooky. Only bad news knocks this late. Um, hello? Greetings. Only bad news. Good evening, little bee. A pleasant climate here, don't you think? Mild. Fragrant, almost. <laughs> what? What are you wearing? I am looking for Francis Vendetti. You found him. I am the hypnogogic Zalm. I appear tonight as a herald of... Doom and calamity. The support act on our tour is indisposed. A replacement is needed. And the captain asked for you by name. Captain? What captain? He calls himself Lightman. Wait, Lightman? You're from Lightman's? Where is it? I it's supposed to be in Calypso, but I've lived here my whole life. There is no such place. Stand extremely still what why now how did you do that where are my pajamas does it adhere to your hideous humanoid arrangement i'm in love with it why are you giving this to me? Lightman's some kind of alien disco. Is Lightman some kind of exclusive club? Is Lightman some kind of theater restaurant? <laughs> Is Lightman some kind of theater restaurant? Hold out your. Oh, damn. How did... did I do that? Was that me? You're turning into another dimension. Don't stop now. Lightman is waiting on the other side. Hey, wait! What is... how did you organize this? Can't shred while I'm riding the trolley.
Hey look, I found the post office. Oh look, fireworks. Didn't sound evil at all. What's up? That's how you make an entrance, baby. <laughs> And don't let no one tell you otherwise. This him? I'm afraid so. Uh, how, uh, how, how did you... I heard the word, you got the aura, baby! How? I'm no one. Got my ear close to the ground, kid. And you're making a lot of noise. Are you Lightman? Jammer of the Glamour Gun himself. Now, we ain't got much time. I'm about to star in a performance of Colossal Scope, and I don't go on without a support act. Never, ever. This is the skinny. Tonight's opening slot has become available. Wait, you want me? I'm supposed to be a serious folk musician. Oh, baby, we'll have you back in time for breakfast. What? Uh, no, I've got my first show tomorrow. I'm in the midst of an existential crisis. I can't just go running off into the night. The night? Baby, we're going way past the night. We're going on a ride across the dilated pupils of the cosmos. Man, you're going to see Flotsam that'll change you forever. Change me forever. Let me give you the first lesson free. This is the musical key. Hey. Okay. You're all over it like a book job. Now repeat after me. my notes but add your own timing your own. Actually, 
quite enjoyable. What do you think, Zom? He'll be dead by dawn. Excellent! You're hired, baby. Follow me. Be dead by dawn. Excellent. <laughs> Wait, this isn't here? This isn't a thing. It, this is an empty warehouse. Young blood, the stuff behind this door is going to blow your mind. Hey. Luxury packages. What is this place? Like a travel agent? Cosmic Extraordinary? I have never heard of any of these places. Destination Extraordinary. Depart never. Danger level four. Destination Heliotroms depart never ever. Danger level cantaloupe. Destination Glimmer Dim depart last Tuesday. Danger level seahorse. Destination Whale Zone depart next birthday. Danger level dolphin. Dolphin. <laughs> Francis, one little admonition. You need to be cleared with legal, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, image rights, sync, narrative, licensing, insurance, posthumous royalties, and a spectromic signature. You know, all pretty standard. So you read the terms of service. You get all that? Not one bit. Voice signature accepted. Onward! <laughs> Sounds about right. You understand that terms of service? No. Alright, well, we accept your signature. You're good. Wow, this place is big. How could this fit beneath Calypso? It's impossible! Because it's not beneath Calypso. Past this sign is to French kiss death. Past this sign is to French kiss death. That's a striking visual. Oh. Are we gonna French kiss death? Not <laughs> one day, unfortunately. But you see that door? That's the end of everything you've ever known, baby. Beyond that door lies the cosmic extraordinary. What does that mean? Oh, man, that's the great matter between the lobes of the universe. The outside of reality, often described as the in-between bits. So it's themed a themed restaurant. I suddenly feel quite uncomfortable. So it's themed. If you want there to be a restaurant, there will be a restaurant. Or if you want there to be flamingos, baby, there shall be flamingos. Or typhoons, or submarines, or the Romanian parliament building. What does it look like? Oh, baby, it looks different to everyone. To me, it's a golden staircase woven lightly. Now to you. Okay. See what it looks like to me. quite bright.
I was about to start doing the Star Trek intro. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Okay. There's a lot of that out here, my man. Wait, where are you going? You're on your own, kid. Everyone takes their own road across the cosmic extraordinary. You're looking for the lung. The cosmic lung. Cosmic What's that? Lung. It's home, baby. It's home. That guy is really not helpful. This looks like the toy from his room. the music controller again well if it isn't a fluffy little piece of space dust you got a strange sound to you whoa I'm a wonder make no mistake are you God <laughs> darling you are divine I am not you know I did see her once from a distance what was it like she was playing pinball no way! Way! All the greats are obsessed with pinball. The only reason we created the universe. <laughs> what do you call yourself? Out here, I'm dabbling with the idea of becoming someone else entirely. My name... Mm -hmm. ...is something I don't want to take with me. In this place, you are the namer of names, but choose wisely. Names can get carried away. What? How do you mean? They wander off. Begin to breathe. Before you know it, they're on books and banners, 
scrawling themselves over manifesto. A name, once weightless, suddenly burdened with the weight of empires. What will you name yourself? Oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> the petite. <laughs> Angry, clever, friendly, cruel, elegant, intelligent, whimsical, troubled, cheeky, exceptional, delightful, exquisite, boring, childish, adventurous, classy, dynamite, deadly, vindictive, slippery, unmissable, glorious, gaunt, robust, comparable, Ethereal, mad, curious, flamboyant, devastating, unusual, wild, enigmatic, maniacal, cloudy, gloomy, joyous, laser brain, messy, naughty. That's a lot of, uh, choices. A lot of choices. Mighty, courageous, terrible, villainous, powerful, comical, wondrous, delusional, excited, petite, angry, clever, friendly, cruel, elegant, intelligent, whimsical, troubled, cheeky. I'm gonna go with cheeky. I am the cheeky Renonetto. And where are you headed? The cosmic one. Really? You're touring with Lightman? Mm -hmm. Well, if you say so. Woo! She chucked us. That was an interesting uh, transition. Cosmic Long. Zom, what happened? Where am I? You're aboard the Cosmic Lung, our vessel across the extraordinary. What does that mean? Francis, does your species gather in caravans of aimless cacophonous debauchery? You mean like a music festival, like a cruise ship, or you mean like a rootin' tootin' convoy? You mean like a music festival? <laughs> That sounds familiar. Why don't you ever explore, hmm? Feel things out. May I offer some advice? Okay. Don't lose your head. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Alright guys, uh, we are going to leave this one off here before we start exploring the Cosmic Lung. Um, so far, this game is really interesting. Um, enjoying the story, it's beautiful, the music, the just the picturesque nature of it. Um, interesting. By chapters, it looks like. Hopefully this is a valid place to check out, because there's no save option, it looks like. <laughs> but it's done by checkpoint, so hopefully the, the lung's a checkpoint. The game hasn't told me any checkpoints yet, um, so I think this could be better done, <laughs> so you know that you've saved recently. Um, but yeah, anyways, really enjoying the story, um, looking forward to seeing what comes from it. And I will see you guys next time.